I really, really limit what he can have access to. You know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying. It's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. Solange has just leaked new footage of Diddy and Jay-Z to the FBI. It seems like there's some serious drama brewing between Solange and her brother-in-law, Jay-Z. Rumor has it that Solange might be cooperating with the authorities, potentially throwing Jay-Z under the bus. The beef between them appears to be escalating, with Solange reportedly getting involved in Jay-Z and Diddy's legal trouble. However, she's not taking Jay-Z's side or asking for leniency. Instead, she's supposedly collaborating with law enforcement, providing them with secret information and solid evidence. This unexpected twist suggests that the situation between Jay-Z and Diddy might be even more complicated than we imagined. We've just uncovered a bombshell. Solange allegedly is making moves to take down Jay-Z. It's a twist no one saw coming, but rumors suggest she's aiming to bring him down for good. Could it be true? Is Jay-Z really pulling some shady maneuvers to protect himself? The tea is scalding, and it's got everyone buzzing. News of a federal investigation into Jay-Z has Solange doing victory laps. Calling Jay-Z her favorite brother-in-law might be a stretch, considering their history. Solange has never hidden her disdain for him, and the thought of him behind bars probably has her popping the fanciest champagne to celebrate. Now, I started actually dancing for Destiny's Child when I was 13, but a lot of my life was spent in tour buses and venues and airports. I don't actually talk about who I'm dating because I think it's important that I concentrate on the music. And that's the one thing that's sacred and not in the public eye, and it's the one thing that you feel like you're home. For what feels like an eternity, Solange has relentlessly been on his case. Months, perhaps years, have passed with no respite in sight. Jay-Z's world has been on a downward spiral, and Solange appears to revel in it. Rumor has it that even the looming presence of federal authorities doesn't phase her. There's speculation that Beyonce might consider calling it quits, something Solange has allegedly been advocating for tirelessly. Let me tell you about Solange. She's as authentic as they come. If she's not feeling you, she won't pretend otherwise. In stark contrast to her sister Beyonce's reserved demeanor, Solange wears her disdain for Jay-Z openly. There's no effort to conceal it. She's unabashedly herself. Do you recall that unforgettable elevator incident? Well, it seems that was merely a glimpse into Solange's deeper sentiments towards Jay-Z. It's no secret she's harbored reservations about him for quite some time. Despite being Beyonce's younger sister, she's been resolutely protective of her, subtly attempting to unveil Jay-Z's true character. Remember when she called the authorities to their residence? That was just one instance of her fiercely watching over her sister's best interests. Even after all these years, Solange persists in her support, refusing to give up despite her inability to separate Beyonce from Jay-Z. She has gone to great lengths to protect her sister from both emotional pain and public embarrassment. It's always a work in progress, but I really, really do consider myself a student of the world. I know that I'm just where I need to be. However scary, however big, however small, a reminder to just take care of yourselves and to strive for the freedom within ourselves, to honor ourselves, our truths, at whatever stages we exist in them because that's how we truly become free. If you've been following Beyonce and Jay-Z's journey, you're likely familiar with Jay-Z's wandering eye and his past infidelities. Beyonce has subtly alluded to it in her music, famously mentioning Becky with the good hair, while Jay-Z himself has openly discussed it in interviews and on his album 444. However, what remains unknown is that Becky with the good hair isn't the sole other woman in the equation. Word on the street suggests that Jay-Z may have had his eyes on more than one woman besides Beyonce during their marriage. Let's rewind to 2011, shortly after Beyonce announced her pregnancy with Blue Ivy. Around that time, there were some murky circumstances surrounding the passing of Jay-Z's alleged lover, Kathy White. It's said that just before her demise, Kathy supposedly contacted a reporter, hinting at exposing her affair with Jay-Z. Naturally, Jay-Z wasn't keen on any gossip leaking to the public, especially with the excitement of expecting their first child with Beyonce. Rumors are swirling that Kathy may have orchestrated the leak as retaliation for Jay-Z, blindsiding her with a surprise prize baby announcement. Jay-Z faced backlash for his infidelity to Beyonce, and people were eager to hear Kathy's side of the story. However, in a shocking turn, reminiscent of a thriller movie, Kathy passed away less than 24 hours later. Was she pregnant by him? She was pregnant enough to know that she was having a boy. Jay-Z was with Beyonce, married to Beyonce by then. He did not want any outside children. Remember, I said Miss Knowles did not want them other children around, okay? So the thing was, Beyonce might have told him, look, I know you out here f around, but you better not bring no mother babies here on me. This ain't fences. You better not bring a baby here talking about I f and got a baby. You, nah, 
The timing seems suspicious, fueling speculation, especially when Kathy's social media accounts vanished after her untimely demise. This sparked numerous conspiracy theories, with some suggesting she may have been silenced and fingers were even pointed at Jay-Z. Despite the intrigue, there's been no solid evidence to support these claims, leaving everything shrouded in mystery. Yet, the circumstances surrounding Kathy's death only serve to deepen the intrigue further. At first, the autopsy findings pointed towards a head injury as the primary cause of death. However, a subsequent report report shocked everyone by suggesting it was an aneurysm instead. While aneurysms can indeed occur suddenly, the abrupt shift in the cause of death raised suspicion. Just when it seemed the story couldn't get any more bewildering, a new report from the NYPD detective in charge introduced yet another twist, casting doubt on the aneurysm diagnosis. Journalist Claudia Jordan took it upon herself to delve deeper into this intricate web of deception, unveiling even more astonishing revelations. According to a detective from the NYPD who briefed me, Kathy's cause of death remains uncertain. We're expecting the autopsy and toxicology reports later today. Presently, her death is being treated as suspicious. However, the case went cold after that, and we heard no further developments. So whatever the f Beyonce over there saying to him or doing, like, whatever her magic is, is whooping his ass to the point to where that he knew he had to take care of this situation with Kathy White. She most assuredly was pregnant by him, okay? And her being pregnant by him would have meant a lot to her. It would have been a come up. She's pregnant by Sean Corey, mother Carter, Beyonce's husband, okay? She was going to have his child. Child would look just like him, honey. Would have been just like him. Nonetheless, an insider revealed that Solange is cooperating with federal authorities and has supposedly promised to provide evidence implicating Jay-Z. It's no secret that Solange harbors resentment towards Jay-Z for allegedly cheating on Beyonce. She even attempted to confront him publicly over his infidelity, once getting physical with a woman named Olivia McFaller, who claimed Jay-Z pursued her while married to Beyonce. Here's the scoop. Olivia spilled the beans, claiming that Jay-Z sent his bodyguard to snag her number, but she wasn't having any of it. She felt it was downright disrespectful for Jay-Z not to come and get her number himself, so she shut down the bodyguard. Fast forward a couple of weeks, and guess who bumps into each other at noon in Miami? You guessed it, Olivia and Jay-Z. This time, Jay-Z must have realized he couldn't send a bodyguard to do his work, so he decided to walk up to her like a proper gentleman. That's when things got spicy. As they were engrossed in their own conversation, they were spotted by Solange. Let me tell you, Solange was seeing red. Olivia thought she was about to catch a beatdown from Solange. She said Solange came walking up out of nowhere, and she thought she was going to get her butt beat so she quickly backed off. Beyonce doesn't even have to say anything. Solange is a force to be reckoned with. Olivia couldn't believe she dodged a whooping from Solange that day. Solange was a big reason why she left him alone. She gave Olivia the look of death. Very scary. Needless to say, Solange is fiercely protective of her big sis, especially when it comes to her husband. That's why she's been going all out, allegedly trying to put some distance between Beyonce and Jay-Z. Let's face it, it's been quite a challenge to unravel because Beyonce is standing by her man, at least for the time being. On the surface, Beyonce and Jay-Z appear to be the epitome of a power couple, reigning over Hollywood and beyond. However, behind closed doors, their dynamic tells a different tale. Their relationship isn't solely built on romance, there are billions of dollars at stake. As long as they remain together, they're effectively upholding their music empire and securing their status as Hollywood's premier couple. But let's not forget about that former bodyguard who spilled some shocking revelations. According to him, Beyonce and Jay-Z prioritize business in their relationship. He suggested that their union is driven more by financial gain and social standing than pure love. It's quite astonishing, isn't it? Yet, it's a reflection of the reality of many marriages, particularly in the realm of Hollywood, where money wields significant influence. Indeed, he accurately captured the essence of it. Beyonce and Jay-Z form an indomitable powerhouse duo, their synergy unparalleled. As long as their status and Hollywood security hold firm, they stand united. However, rumors suggest Solange is determined to dismantle their union, convinced her sister deserves better than Jay-Z. Until recently, their marriage seemed unbreakable, but recent revelations hint at a seismic shift. It appears we might be on the brink of a new chapter in the Carter family's saga. Over the past few weeks, whispers have been rampant regarding the state of Jay-Z and Beyonce's union. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. As far as who's gonna be 
the breakout victim slash story? I, I, don't, I don't know. Blogger Storm Monroe recently brought the gossip to light, suggesting that the power couple has been leading separate lives for quite some time. Beyonce is purportedly contemplating the possibility of ending their marriage. According to Monroe, Jay-Z is supposedly under federal investigation, and the situation is poised to explode into a public scandal. Allegations indicate that he's facing scrutiny akin to what Diddy previously encountered, albeit on a grander scale. Given the close bond between Jay-Z and Diddy, it's not inconceivable to speculate that they might have engaged in similar activities. Storm hinted that Beyonce might not stick around if Jay-Z gets exposed. It echoes a situation similar to Will and Jada's, where a bad marriage seems to last for life. Initially, we didn't pay much attention to it. However, when Homeland Security got involved and nabbed Diddy, suddenly everyone started whispering about him possibly divulging information about Jay-Z. When Homeland Security steps in, they mean business. So if you're going to spill the beans, you better have everything in order because the consequences are serious. When it comes to Homeland Security, they operate on a different level compared to your regular law enforcement. They don't rush through investigations. Instead, they prioritize thoroughness and precision. They invest considerable time, sometimes spanning months or even years, in carefully examining every detail before taking action. This meticulous approach is reflected in their remarkably high success rate, which exceeds 95%. They're not ones to cut corners or take shortcuts. They believe in doing things right. As for Diddy, he's been under scrutiny not only from Homeland Security, but also from the FBI for quite some time. Rumors regarding his alleged preference for younger companions have circulated since the 90s, keeping law enforcement agencies vigilant. It's been over a decade or more of monitoring his activities closely. In a significant development back in 2013, the FBI questioned James Roseman, a former music manager turned narcotics kingpin who had extensive connections with various celebrities. During his debriefing with federal investigators, Roseman was reportedly asked about the inclinations of entertainers, including inquiries about whether Diddy was involved in inappropriate relationships with underage individuals. In a a recent filing with the U.S. District Court, a prosecutor delved into the personal lives of celebrities, notably probing into intimate details such as Sean Combs' relationships with underage individuals. This demonstrates a focused effort by the FBI, indicating that they are not simply chasing after every gossip headline. If they are investigating Diddy and his controversial behavior, it suggests they have substantial evidence and are diligently building a case against him. The fact that they have been working on this for over a decade underscores their dedication and meticulous approach to bringing forth just. Let's delve into the timing of events here. It's quite conspicuous that a flurry of lawsuits targeting Diddy has emerged within a span of fewer than six months. All these legal actions seem to converge on the accusation of shady behavior. It's becoming increasingly challenging to overlook. Cassie set the wheels in motion by revealing Diddy's true nature. And let me tell you, it's far from flattering. Cassie didn't mince her words, alleging that Diddy had physically harmed her during their relationship, leaving her bruised and battered. But that's not where it ends. She further claimed that he pursued persistently ignored her objections. If that wasn't disturbing enough, she dropped a bombshell, alleging that he had allegedly coerced her into engaging with male escorts, even going so far as to watch and record the entire distressing ordeal. There were rumors circulating about Diddy supposedly distributing these videos to colleagues in the industry. 50 Cent even chimed in, suggesting that Diddy utilized the footage to damage Cassie's reputation following their breakup. Amidst the whirlwind of speculation, it appears that these videos might have surfaced from the turbulent times Cassie endured under Diddy's alleged coercion. This is it goes off. But this is a little a fruit pile. <laughs> But here's the real shocker. When 50 Cent called out Diddy on this matter, the response he received seemed to tacitly confirm Diddy's involvement in the whole sordid affair. But hold on tight because the plot thickens. Diddy and 50 Cent? They're like oil and water, completely incompatible. So if Diddy was indeed sharing compromising videos of Cassie with someone like 50 Cent, one can't help but shudder at the thought of what else might have been exchanged within their inner circles. It's enough to send shivers down your spine. But wait, there's more darkness to unravel. Alongside Cassie's harrowing account, three other courageous women have stepped forward with allegations against Diddy. And here's the bone-chilling commonality. They all claim he mistreated them while they were incapacitated. It's truly beyond words. Lil Rod then shocked everyone with his revelations about his purported encounters with Diddy. He claimed that Diddy crossed boundaries during their collaboration on the Love Album, getting too touchy-feely and making him uncomfortable. According to Lil Rod, Diddy's behavior went beyond acceptable limits, leaving him feeling seriously uneasy. And with Diddy, it seems the party never stops. Lil Rod further alleged that Diddy mistreated him at one of his notorious Miami gatherings. He described these parties as wild affairs, with young girls who shouldn't have been there, let alone involved in such scenes.
scenes. To add to the shock, Lil Rod even hinted at Diddy's son Justin's alleged involvement in procuring underage girls for these parties. Let's leap ahead to the present moment where a scene of tumult is unfolding. It appears that federal authorities have stumbled upon compelling evidence to pursue legal action against Diddy. In a well-coordinated maneuver, they have launched simultaneous raids on his residences in both LA and Miami. The synchronized nature of these raids underscores the seriousness of the situation. No risks were spared and no corners were cut. Do know is that two properties associated with him. Uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents both here in the Los Angeles area as well as in uh, Miami at those residents. During the operation, Diddy himself was nowhere to be found. However, his sons Justin and Christian were not as fortunate. They were apprehended, handcuffed, and taken into custody while federal agents meticulously searched every inch of the properties. The leaked footage making rounds online clearly shows a trail of havoc they caused while scouring Diddy's bedroom, sparing no corner in their quest for evidence. It's apparent that Diddy's private jet has been located in the Caribbean, sparking speculation that he might have fled to avoid authorities. TMZ reports indicate that Diddy's personal Love Air LLC jet, a renowned black Gulfstream 5 he has proudly displayed and piloted for years, is presently grounded in Antigua, situated in the Caribbean region. TMZ reported on the extensive flight activity of Diddy's jet, revealing its frequent trips across California from Sunday to Monday. Departing from Sacramento Executive Airport around 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday, it landed at Palm Springs International Airport about an hour later. Then, at approximately 7.30 p.m. PST, the jet took off from Palm Springs, only to touch down at Van Nuys Airport in the LA area around 8 p.m. PST. The following morning, around 9 a.m. PST on Monday, it departed from Van Nuys Airport and headed towards Antigua. However, speculation arose when Diddy was spotted at Miami International Airport, seemingly troubled despite the supposed flight to Antigua. Despite expectations of legal repercussions, Diddy continues to enjoy his freedom and lifestyle, defying the odds. So everyone and their relatives, including his supposed substance supplier, are all locked up. What's the holdup? Why hasn't Diddy faced any charges yet? Word on the street suggests that the authorities are biding their time with Diddy. Apparently, this whole situation extends far beyond him. He's merely a pawn in a larger game. Remember how I mentioned earlier that the authorities often pressure suspects to provide information on others to strengthen their cases? Well, it appears that's precisely what's going on here. Allegedly, they're pressuring Diddy to spill the beans on bigger players in exchange for leniency for himself and freedom for his sons. And guess whose name is rumored to be at the top of their target list? None other than Jay-Z. Word on the street suggests that Diddy might spill the beans and implicate Jay-Z in the ongoing chaos. It's quite a twisted tale, especially considering the long-standing rumors surrounding Jay-Z's questionable business practices. Let's not forget the whispers of his alleged affair with Foxy Brown when she was underage, with some even alleging he transmitted an STD to her. Jaguar had already hinted at this turn of events, especially after Cassie's lawsuit bombshell against Diddy. Jaguar wasted no time in pointing fingers at Jay-Z, painting him as the puppet master behind Diddy's shady dealings. According to her, Jay-Z is the real brains behind the operation, smoother and more careful than Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. I'm gonna get you and your little dog too. Mm. And congratulations, young Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Run as fast as Cassie did. Heavy D is dead. Yeah. Andre Horrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost. Well, folks, I've got some intriguing news to share. Brace yourselves, because things are about to take an even more interesting turn. It seems that Diddy isn't the only one catching the attention of Jay-Z. Rumor has it that Solange is also cooperating with the authorities, reportedly providing her assistance to them free of charge. According to an insider, she views this as an opportunity to rescue her sister from Jay-Z's influence once and for all. She's eagerly seizing the chance, fully believing that Beyonce won't stick with Jay-Z once his misdeeds are exposed. Solange is a allegedly strategizing to capitalize on this situation, aiming to aid in Jay-Z's downfall and subsequent imprisonment. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.